Hello everyone and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today it's a world of science and when you open your eyes in the morning, you see many objects or say equipments around you like your ceiling fan, your refrigerator, mobile phone, washing machine, microwave oven, television, everything is an invention of science. Science as a whole can be subdivided into three sections, that is, in physics you'll be studying study of measurements, in chemistry you'll be studying properties of matter, and biology you'll be studying study of life cycles. We'll be studying chemistry in detail. Now friends, do you have a question in your mind like how water is formed? Why carbon dioxide and carbon monoxides are different? Why rust on the iron is prevented by zinc polishing? And how medicines are formed and how they work? Every question has an answer in chemistry. But first of all, we should know what the subject means. That is, what is chemistry? Chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of matter. And in this session, we'll be studying with the very basics of chemistry, that is matter and classification of matter. Friends, what is matter? Just look at your room. Look at your books, your pen, your laptop, your mobile phone, your water, your clothes lying down, your chair you're sitting on, the oxygen you are breathing in. Everything is a matter. Why? First, they are occupying space, they have a definite mass, and they are perceived by you by your senses. That is, anything which occupies space has a mass and can be perceived by the senses is called a matter. For example, like clock, football, pen, bus, milk, hydrogen, minerals, flowers, trees, oxygen, water, oil, petrol you use in, in your vehicles, everything is in matter. Now friends, let's see how matters are composed, like what is the composition of matter? For example, common salt which you use in your daily life, look at granules of salt in the microscope. You'll see very tiny particles grouping together. They are called molecule. And a molecule is a group of atoms. One tiny particle will be called atom or electrically charged particle called ion. We'll be studying, giving emphasis on the grouping of atom that is molecule. Molecules basically determines the physical and the chemical properties of matter that is the nature and the arrangements of the molecule determines the properties of matter that is if we conclude that is it determines physical and chemical properties of matter how by their arrangements and the nature in any given substance let's conclude this by the definitions, it consists of very tiny particles called atom and group of atom is called molecule. Molecule or group of atoms that is capable of independent existence in a free state called molecule, ion, group of electrically charged atom. We have seen what is matter. Now let's see what is not a matter. Heat, light, electricity, magnetism, sounds, vacuum, shadow. They are not matter. Why? Just because first, they don't occupy space. Second, they don't have a definite mass. Third, you cannot perceive by your senses. So, they are not a matter. Now friends, let's see what is the classification of matter. The matter can be classified by their properties, that is physical property and chemical property. We'll be studying physical state and chemical state. In physical state, we study solid, liquid, gas. In chemical state, 
will be studying elements, compound and mixture. Let's first see what is physical state. We study physical state that is solid, liquid and gas. Let's take an example of solid as ice, liquid as water and gas as a vapor or steam. Now let's see the characteristics of these. Ice has a definite and fixed shape. Ice as a solid having a high density. Ice as a solid do not flow. In comparison to water does no thick shape. They have a very moderate density. They can flow. And in vapor, they no, don't have a thick shape. Very, very low density. And they can flow. One more point we can use. That is, they have a fixed volume. Liquid also has a fixed volume, but in gases, they don't have a fixed volume. Now let's conclude this thing. That is, we have seen ice as a solid having a fixed shape, fixed volume, high density. They don't know and they cannot be compressed much. Solids are also rigid form of matter. Now let's see water as a liquid. They have a fixed volume but no fixed shape. That is, if you pour a glass of water, water will take a shape of a glass. If you change into another container, it will take the shape of the container. That is, they don't have a fixed shape but they flow easily. They do have a moderate to high density. And gas, steam as a gas. They flow easily in the air. They fill the container completely. They have a very, very low density. They don't have fixed shape as well as don't have a fixed volume. You have seen the physical classification. Now let's come to the chemical classification of matter. In chemical classification, that is chemical state, we study three sections that is elements, compound and mixture. Element for example carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, sodium. Elements are those which cannot be further divided that is element is a substance which cannot be split into two or more simpler substances by any chemical method. They are the smallest of the substance. Now let's come to compound that is for example water, carbon dioxide, your common salt that is sodium chloride. Compounds are basically mixture of two or more elements chemically combined together that is in a fixed proportion. And if you see mixture, Mixture you can see air, uh, you can see sea water, um, you can see petrol, you can see water vapor. These are also mixtures. They are combined combination of two or more compounds or elements, but they are not chemically combined together. They are just mixed together, not in any given proportion. Now let's conclude the topic. The chemical classification elements that cannot be split, split into two or more. They are made of atoms and having the same atomic number. In compound, two or more elements are forming a compound. They have a fixed composition by fixed proportion weight and they cannot be separated by physical processes. Now let's see the mixtures. Mixture is a two or more elements or compounds 
they are not chemically combined together. Now, let's conclude the session. That is, the chemistry is a science which study matter. Anything which occupies space and has mass is a matter. Heat, light, electricity, sound, vacuum, shadow, magnetism are not considered as a matter. Physical state of matter, solid, liquid and gas. Solid is a rigid form of matter. Liquid and gas are also known as fluids. Chemical state of matter that is element, compound and mixture. I hope you have understand the session. Now let's come up to the activity. That is, please write 25 objects which you see around you in 5 minutes. Thank you. Now let's come to second activity. Please segregate the following in the tabular form title as solid, liquid and gas in 5 minutes. Thank you. In the next session we will be studying in details that is a physical composition of matter and kinetic molecular theory of matter. Thank you. Thank you everyone.